All right guys, what is up? I got my friend with me over there. Today's gonna be a first ride after me modding the bike. I'm gonna kind of get a first impressions of it, see what it sounds like, see what it feels like, see if it's any faster, and really see if it was all worth it, you know? It's loud, right? Oh, yeah. It doesn't even feel like the same bike. Literally runs completely different. And that's kind of what I'm going to be explaining today. This is kind of like a first ride, test ride kind of a video. I also got a new camera as well. I'm testing that out, you know. And I got my friend with me. I know that you guys said you guys like group rides, so... This thing is so loud now. Wait till I take it out on the highway, man. Then it gets real loud. I'm gonna get gas first and I'll kind of talk about everything. I'll let you guys just hear it a little bit. Yeah, man, it's so loud. My gosh. You think it's louder? <laughs> Yeah, it's loud, loud. Let me kind of give you guys a little rundown of what I did to the bike. As you guys know, if you guys watched my previous video, I put the a um, mid pipe on there. I had to bend the mid pipe to kind of get it to fit on there. It just seems like it's doing pretty well. It's a cheap eBay pipe, I guess. What do you expect, you know? But it sounds pretty good. I mean, it does the job. As you guys know, I have the M4 shorty on there, and it looks like that because I got to repaint it. I did buy it used. Yeah, it looks pretty bad, actually. But I'll get that all touched up and everything. And then also, too, I got a K&N race specific filter in it so yeah we're gonna see if that did anything and then i have a um it got tuned by r and r cycle so we're gonna go ahead and test everything out but uh yeah man with this new camera i'm testing out the modes man i'm trying to see what works best right now i have it in super view let me know what you guys think man about the settings man you guys that are real good with these gopros these things never work right for some reason i always have a problem connecting to my phone literally for no reason I got my wallet, got the battery. Perfect. All right, let's go. But yeah, so guys, one of the first things I noticed, the engine braking is pretty much gone. Whenever I ride and I let off the throttle, I'm not slowing down like I'm used to. So I'm kind of getting used to that, the whole not engine braking thing. And I understand that makes you go faster. I find myself squeezing the brakes way more than before, especially after the tune. The tune made the bike run completely different. It literally does not even feel like the same bike. All right, we got a green. guys hear those backfires i have to do something about that and i've been doing some research basically i need a block off plate to stop the backfires it helps with backfires on deceleration and that's the exact problem i'm having so i'm gonna have to get that they skipped us so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to run it gonna lie i did like when it was engine braking a little bit more just because i'm off the brakes more i'm not using the brakes as much and when you're using the brakes more then it's going to cost more money it's also a little bit more dangerous now because the bike doesn't slow down as fast i really have to you really really have to pay attention now i mean you always have to pay attention but when there's no engine braking you really got to pay attention like describe it but it shifts so much quicker the shifts are much faster now like i said i did take the ecu out of the bike and i took it up to the shop so it was a little bit cheaper doing it that way because they didn't charge me for labor so that was 225 dollars for the flash but the best option would be a custom tune but that was almost 800 dollars. so i was like yeah i'm not getting that so i went ahead with the flash and it seems like being doing pretty well I'd 
say it's pretty worth it. It's definitely much faster now. Besides the backfires, everything seems to be running like pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, it's, it's just like a different animal. Once I once I really open it up, it's it's like a different kind of animal. That's one thing about a bike right there. Just do stuff like that. <laughs> So far, so good. It's ripping pretty good. I really noticed a big difference. Mid-range to up top is where I really noticed the difference. This should be a nice ride for you guys. But yeah, you hear all that excessive backfiring, man? That block off plate's supposed to fix that. Anytime you change your exhaust and do all these mods, you're tampering with the air fuel ratio. Yeah, man, everything's coming together pretty well. $90 for the air filter, $225 for the tune, and about $50 for the mid pipe. Which isn't too bad, right? So the shifts are quicker, mid-range to top feels better. Everything feels pretty good. Besides those backfires, I'd say everything's pretty good. When you put an exhaust system on this bike, man, these things sound really good. I think it's one of the best sounding sport bikes for a Japanese bike, in my personal opinion. With an exhaust system, it makes it so much more fun to ride, man. Having your bike loud, everybody looks at you, and it's just that much more fun when you hit it, you know? The only complaint I'd probably have when I'm just riding like this, there's this loud drone, you know? And it's kind of hard to hear myself talk, especially when I'm motovlogging. So when we get up on the highway and the path looks pretty clear, I'm gonna try doing some pulls with him, man. Nothing crazy. That's one thing when you get your bike modded, man, it makes it that much harder to not go fast, you know? It runs so good now. It just feels more aggressive. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like, it's a lot more raspy and way more aggressive. And it screams like, like listen to that. I mean, I, I, I was in a low gear, or excuse me, I was in um, I was in a higher gear, but like, you know what I'm saying? Once I get into like 8,000 RPMs, man, it's just loud, loud. This is where my friend, me and my friend got like pulled over. My friend was on a Harley actually. You guys seen him in the videos, my friend with the Harley. He sold that Harley actually. Just gotta chill man, gotta chill. on the dyno or anything like that so like i can't say like how much faster but it does feel faster all in all i'd say i'm pretty happy guys i can smell my exhaust now though all right guys so that's probably gonna wrap it up for this video that's kind of my uh first impressions of it after getting all the mods for not that much money i'd say it was worth it for the price it's definitely louder and it's definitely faster. So if you guys want to see the group rides, man, make sure you guys subscribe. That'd be pretty cool, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.